Hello, Will. Come on inside. All right, well, let's get down to business. Our assets will be divided 50-50, aside from the house in Santa Barbara. I figured you still wanted that, and I'm not gonna fight you for it. How generous of you. And about the dogs, I'd like to ask you one more time if Teddy can split his time between us. And I'll tell you one last time, there is no world in which that is happening. I get Teddy, it's a non-starter. Lucy, however. Will stay with me winter and spring. You can have her fall and summer. Agreed. You're not gonna go back on any of this, are you? Just because there aren't any lawyers present? I am in law school. You are in law school. I think we're covered. What about Richie's? What about it? I want to be able to eat there on Saturdays. You're able to eat there whenever you want. I want to be able to go on Saturdays without having to see you there as well. You can go on Sundays. Fine. For the love of... Do you really give two craps about any of this, Will? I get Teddy on Saturdays and you get to marry your mistress. Does it get any better for you than that? Just sign the damn papers. Did you think of something else, Ava? Something else that you want? Some family heirloom? Some final point of negotiation you still want to work out? What is it that you want now? Nothing. Because there's nothing left for you to take. What did you say? Goodbye, Ava. What did you say? We're not going to do this. What did you say? I said there's nothing left for you to take. What have I taken from you, Will? Everything I had, everything there is, you name it. How do you do that? How do you talk yourself into believing anything you want to believe? Convince yourself that you are completely blameless in every situation. What kind of messed up cognitive process is going on in that tiny little head of yours? Do you think it's scientific? Did you get it from your daddy? Something passed on from one tailor to the next? I, I wish I were wired that way. I wish I could do that. We're done here, Ava. No. I want to hear it. I want to hear how you think this is my fault. Oh, that's right, baby. Take another sip. We're just getting started. The damage you've caused is irreparable. Is it? This ridiculous investigation, these laborious proceedings, this fabricated marriage I'm about to enter with the only woman I've ever loved, all of this is on you, Ava. Oh, I don't think so. Who went to the judge? Who got on that stand and lied straight through her teeth? Who kicked me out of this place like I was yesterday's trash? You mean when you went behind my back and tried to get me fired? Don't you dare try to pin that on me again. You did that. What I have been forced to do. Oh, and let's talk about messed up cognitive processes and convincing yourself to be completely blame-free, Ava. Enlighten me. What I have been forced to endure. You have blood on your hands. In an effort to protect you. Every imaginable scenario, they all end with you, Will. Don't you get it? You are the common denominator here. You are the root cause of everything. Uh, I would still have my dignity if it wasn't for you. I would still have my career if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't have had to bury my baby if it wasn't for you. I, I wouldn't have even thought about having kids. I wouldn't have married you. Uh, I wouldn't have forced myself to stomach you and your disgusting father lying on top of me. Uh, I would have had something been something, done something if it wasn't for you. And I, I wouldn't have had to waste five years propping you up, making you feel okay about your pathetic mediocrity, petting you and applauding you. My life would have meant something if it wasn't for you. Goodbye, Will. Ava. I spell out all the hurting words and turn my head when I speak Cause I can't spell it way